The beachfront benches on Edinburgh's Portobello Prom, free from folk on this sunny day, suggest people here are following the rules. Scotland has stuck with the stay-at-home slogan, the only minor shift, people allowed unlimited exercise as long as they socially distance, and those doing that were content with the lengths government here is going to. I carry it with me everywhere. Aye, yeah, aye. It goes like this, hold on. Oh, really? Yeah, actually, I'll say, hold on. Here's two metres and I show people, yeah, aye, yeah, aye. I mean, I'm, I'm taking this dead seriously. If we don't all have the same message, I don't really know if anyone's going to stick to it. That's the thing. I think it would be better to be united and say stay home for everyone. Scotland's First Minister has said changes seen in England will have to wait north of the border. We all want to see our friends and families. We all miss them more with each day that passes. We all want to see children get back to school and we all desperately want to get back to some kind of normality. But for those enforcing the guidelines, there's concern. Different messages being heard across the UK makes their job more difficult. I think it's a real challenge for, for the public and therefore it's a challenge for policing because we've got to try and educate people and try and engage with them and explain it. And uh, we really don't want to be having quite any discussions about the Constitution. Scotland isn't alone in its stay-at-home message. Northern Ireland has followed suit, but there will be some changes later this week which could include allowing people to exercise more and loosening restrictions on other outdoor activities. And in Wales, the advice remains the same, but people can also exercise more than once a day close to home, visit some garden centres, and councils can reopen recycling centres and libraries. But any differences worry those in Wales who are fighting the virus. The problem with having different rules for different countries within the home nations is it is it, it does create these mixed messages. And I think people in Wales will look at England and say, well, if people in England are allowed to do that, why aren't I? As it stands, there is no sea change in how the devolved nations are approaching restrictions. We may have all entered them together, but there's no leaving lockdown in lockstep. Alan Jenkins, 5 News.